There are a number of different ways to market your cattle, but video auction markets are becoming more prevalent in some parts of the country where buyers can review and purchase cattle without leaving their ranch. Well, today's our 23rd annual Western Video Auction at Reno, and it's kind of our flagship event. Well, in the next three days, we'll sell 130 to 140,000 cattle. They've put the cattle in front of all, all the people in the West. Anybody in America can buy cattle on the video and see what they are. Well, I think the, uh, the overall business is pretty solid. Uh, obviously, we've got some obstacles here with uh, the drought-related uh, uh, part of the segment there where the, where the corn's kind of rallying and putting a little pressure on the market, but we've all been in this position before and there's ups and downs, but the business overall, I think, is, uh, is really solid. California is, and the West is sort of an export state. We, uh, a good percentage of our feeder cattle go to the Midwest. And I think uh, through the video, we get more exposure to the Midwest market and, and uh, just more buyer participation. Well, I think it's uh, pretty much common knowledge. Anytime you can offer uh, this kind of cattle to that big of a buyer base that's uh, national um, and expose them to more buyers like that, you're always going to create create more market, more marketing opportunities for producers and uh, more opportunities certainly to get better genetics out to some of uh, uh, the, the leading feedlots. Uh, we're here to, uh, to sell some yearling cattle today, uh, sell some calves tomorrow. Uh, and support our bull customers who are also marketing cattle in this event. Uh, it's important for us because uh, uh, adding value to our customers' commercial calves is probably the most important thing we can do as sea stock producers. One thing I think the video has done has helped in the quality of the cattle. The people see the quality, they bring the money, and the quality are a lot better than they used to be. In the competition, gives everybody a chance to buy, and I think it's a great way to sell. One big thing that I'm seeing is that uh, the quality cattle are bringing more money, and uh, in, in, a, uh, in a tougher environment to sell cattle in, which we're in right now, uh, the good genetics uh, certainly seem to be paying for themselves. I think we're pretty solid. Uh, this cow-calf sector particularly, uh, we know the numbers are short all across America. Uh, these guys that are able to uh, continue to keep their cow numbers up and, and, and run a cow in every corner of their property, I think they're going to do well with these, the numbers being short and uh, uh, the demand being good. I think we're in a real good position overall. We're always going to have our ups and downs, but uh, I think it uh, has never looked better. Well, I think the videos are going to grow. I think ours is going to grow. I think uh, people are managing their their herds in a way that makes a uh, video way of marketing more conducive, uh, making sure that they uh, run enough cattle, they can make even load lots, and maybe installing scales so it's easier to sell them off the ranch. So I think there's still a lot of growth potential in the in the video market and in Western video in particular. All right, that's all for this week's Angus Report. Join us next week when we bring you the latest in cattle news and information. And be sure to email us your questions or ideas for future segments. Don't miss next week's special coverage of the 2012 National Junior Angus Show, one of the largest single breed cattle competitions in the country. In the meantime, visit our website, Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest pages for articles, videos, and more information. Thanks for joining us.